base kato and i'm back with another weekly vlog so y'all it is literally 6 51 a.m in the morning on sunday uh september 24th i have been up all night you guys and it's so crazy because i actually filmed this part of the video like maybe an hour ago but i just uploaded the footage to my computer and i'm like mm, I don't like the way I look. I'm like, why do I look so tired? And it's like, so I tried to like freshen myself up a little bit, but I feel like I still look kind of tired, but look girl, we've been up all night, so it doesn't even matter. But anyways, you guys, I just wanted to kind of give you the rundown of what happened this week, because I'm not gonna lie, I haven't filmed a lot this week at all because like i'm still in the process of like moving and securing a new place and that's like a whole nother thing you guys so yeah pretty much i did find another place that i wanted to stay at if you didn't already watch my last vlog i'll link it below but basically what happened was i did secure a place in houston back in august and it was a really nice place you guys like it was a really nice it was supposed to be a new high rise in like downtown houston they're supposed to have like a rooftop pool a bar bar downstairs restaurants all these different workspaces the apartment itself is supposed to have like surround sound system throughout the entire apartment the amazon echo whatever it, it was just like pretty much loaded y'all and it was like loaded for like a really good deal like a really good price I definitely secured my spot right then and there once I had seen the apartment and basically last week I got an email from the apartment saying that they got to push in moving dates all the way to like November December because they're still dealing with the city of Houston and like probably building code violations so long story short I pretty much said I need to go ahead and just get a refund on my application and deposit because my lease here in Atlanta ends this week so this upcoming week so it's kind of like i can't wait on y'all so in my last vlog you guys saw where i did some apartment hunting in houston and i will say i did find a place that i really really like and y'all it's so crazy how god and like the universe just works in mysterious ways like it's like 
I asked for one thing and I got that plus more, if that makes sense. Like I got more than what I asked for with this new place. And it's so crazy because when I first went to it in person, like I did like it in person, but I just, ne I don't know why I didn't consider it. I think because at the time I was still so upset about losing out on the first apartment that I couldn't even focus on any other place. But now that I've, you know, come to the realization that that apartment complex probably won't even be open till like 2024, I'm like, all right, well, I'm not going to stay there. Let me just go ahead and look for something else. And this time with apartment hunting, you guys, I was like, you know what? which mind y'all earlier today i did get some chinese food and i always like get a fortune cookie and my fortune said it is impossible to please everybody please yourself first basically like long story short short that first apartment that i applied for and got approved for and everything but then they pushed back the moving dates like that apartment was really nice but i feel like i would have been cheating myself out of what i really wanted at the end of the day so after I lost that apartment, I was like, you know what? Let me like really think. Like, let me really think about what do I really want in an apartment? What do I want my apartment to look like? This, that, and the third. Because at the end of the day, I'm the one that's going to be living in it. I'm the one that's going to be paying for it. So I'd rather pay for something that I really want. And if I have to pay a more premium price, I'll do that because I'm paying for it. You know? So I pay for high quality. So this new apartment complex I'm trying to secure now, which I'm pretty sure I have it. They're probably just processing me in the system and getting, getting like the keys ready, this, that, and the third. So I'm pretty sure they're like doing all that, but I'm just waiting on the actual green light. So I haven't gotten too, too excited yet, but I am getting excited because this apartment is like, it's literally, oh, it's so dope, you guys. It's I didn't even imagine myself getting an apartment like this and I'm getting an apartment like this like I'm like oh my gosh and it's like I did it all by myself like that's the best part about it like when you're able to do things all by yourself like not saying that asking for help is a bad thing but it's just like I don't have to rely on other people I guess that's the thing I can do it all on my own and I don't have to rely on anybody else so yes you guys so you guys will definitely see an apartment tour so yeah so it is sunday september 24th so i'll be moved in or at least have the keys by september 28th if everything is all approved and ready to go which i've been in contact with the property manager so here's the thing so and i'm pretty sure this is with every apartment complex and if you never rented at an apartment complex let me like break down the process. So normally when you wanna secure an apartment at a place, what I did was I put a deposit down on the room to hold it that way that they take the listing off the website, also pay an application fee, administration fee, all of that came up to like damn near $1,000 for this place. And after I submitted all of that stuff, you had to do like the income verification and all that. So I had to submit pay stubs, bank statements, and they asked for a copy of my social security card and driver's license. So, which I've never had an apartment complex ask for my social security card. So that must be like the higher heart in apartment complexes. Like, like they probably be asking for all of that stuff. And even with the bank statements, I, um, submitted the wrong bank account information in because basically what the apartment is trying to see is they're trying to make sure that your pay stubs wherever your pay stubs is being deposited into matches what's on the bank statements if that makes sense so there's no like faking of the pay stubs and bank statements because that's pretty popular especially in houston probably definitely definitely in atlanta so because it's like, y'all, these apartment complexes, they be wanting you to make three times the income. And it's like the average U.S. citizen is not making three times the rental income. We make enough. We make enough to where we can pay the rent and y'all be off our asses. So I feel like that's more than enough. <laughs> But yeah, they had to verify all of that information. So I had to submit the documents twice. So I had to submit all those documents to the actual apartment complex. So they have that on file. And then also these apartment complexes, 
use like a third party website where you have to submit your documents to them where they'll verify to make sure that everything is real so that's what i'm waiting on right now so i already was approved pretty much at the apartment complex because they said everything looked good um, but they're just waiting to hear back from the third party vendor to make sure that i didn't fake any of my documents which i know i didn't fake any of my documents so i'm pretty sure i have the apartment but you know how it is when you already lose out on like one apartment it's like all right i'm not gonna say i 100 percent have it until i hear it yeah so i submitted everything by yesterday friday and i thought i was going to hear back by today and i called them but the leasing person that i've been talking to the whole time she wasn't here today and i was like okay but she'll be here tomorrow so hopefully i'll hear back well tomorrow as in today sunday so hopefully i hear back from her today sunday but i'm assuming i'll probably hear back on monday because i'm thinking you know probably with these third party websites or verification companies they probably only work monday through friday so i'm assuming i won't hear back until monday but i'm very excited you guys i will definitely do an apartment tour and everything but y'all i am so ready to move to houston like it's so crazy i feel like again god in the universe works in mysterious ways because i feel like i was pushed to be uncomfortable like i'm being pushed to go to houston if that makes sense like i would i've been forced out of my comfort zone to the point where it's like i cannot deal with being uncomfortable for this long like i need to start making some changes in my environment and stuff and let me tell you why so this apartment complex that i'm living in now i've been here since like the first week of january of 2020 so right before the pandemic and this apartment complex was pretty new so it wasn't even like all the way full so they had a lot of vacancies so it was pretty quiet around here for the most part so i moved into this apartment after college and i got like a full-time job as like a stockbroker and then after that i got into banking and i feel like at a certain point became like complacent or it's like another word that i'm trying to think of but y'all it's like seven and i've been up since well i've been pulling an all-nighter basically but i felt like i became complacent and comfortable where i'm at in life and it's like this wasn't like the end goal like this isn't what i envisioned my life to be like i didn't envision myself working in a bank working at a bank was just a temporary thing and honestly like working at a bank and stuff that was just to please like my family because my family is really into like those those type of um, jobs are they like white collar jobs where it's like a uh, finance lawyer doctor whatever like that's kind of like what they're into um although my parents my immediate family like my parents they always encouraged me to be creative this that and the third they never forced that's the thing y'all like my family never forced me to be this way but it's just like i felt like i needed to be this way just to i don't know i just felt like this would um i was just doing people pleasing basically y'all and it's like at people pleasing will leave you miserable and at a certain point i feel like i became miserable like i'm not miserable but just frustrated at where i'm at in life and another thing that added on to the frustration was the fact that my apartment complex started to become really rowdy a lot of weird stuff started happening i got new neighbors y'all and it's a couple and they are so loud you guys they play video games all day like i, I for a second i was like are they twitch streamers because they're always so loud and like screaming this that and a third they're they argue too a lot stomping all over the place and it's been like that for the past year you guys so i feel like i've been a hermit in my own apartment because not only that but also so i live on the first floor you guys and at this point i would never recommend a first floor apartment but at the time when i got this apartment i thought the first floor was like 
very convenient and it was up until like after the pandemic because after the pandemic my apartment complex opened back up the pool area and stuff and that's where i live so i live by the pool area so now it's like i can never have my blinds open i can never sit outside up on my porch or anything because people just be staring at me or they try to talk to me or they people do weird things and it's like when i have my blinds open people be trying to peep inside and just look at me it's so weird and some of my neighbors here like weird okay like they be really trying to spy on you and also too since i live on the first floor i also live like by the maintenance entrance the garage entrance where people who have garages come in and out and then also just like the regular in and out entrance so it's like i never have peace and quiet in my own apartment and like the noise has just gotten way worse over like the past i would say year which has made me uncomfortable so like i've definitely been uncomfortable living in my own apartment in like for the past year and my apartment has the nerve to charge like two thousand dollars for all of that and then we barely have amenities with my new apartment complex i was like first off i'm not gonna be on the first floor that's dead and then second off i need an apartment that has a lot of amenities like real amenities so not just a club room in a gym like i need you to have more than just that so especially if i'm going to be paying two thousand plus a month to live there so these apartment complexes be having the nerve to charge the most, it, but don't be keeping up with their property. I hate that. Or they be leasing out their apartments to just anybody. Like, I definitely understand the verification process for sure. So, but yeah, so that's why this next apartment complex, I wanted it to be really nice, you guys. And I'm living in Houston too, like, or I'm moving to Houston. So I didn't want to live like in the outer loop, like in Katy, Texas or something. Like I'm trying to live in the city, y'all. I'm trying to be where the action is at, you know? So, but I want to be in a safe apartment complex. I wanted, wanted my apartment to have like a concierge desk valet parking like i want all of that because that's just where i'm at in life at this point so i don't want to talk down on the apartment that i have now because i feel like the apartment that i have now is just like a stepping stool and it taught me what i want and don't want in an apartment and and everything so i'm so excited to finally leave this apartment i will say now that most of my furniture is out of this apartment i'm not gonna lie i would still recommend this apartment floor plan to anybody because this is a very open spacious floor plan but not worth no like two thousand dollars that's for sure and tell me why month to month here is like four thousand dollars i'm like four thousand for what like Four thousand for what? We don't even have a parking garage. Like, uh-uh. But yes, you guys, it's so crazy how everything works. Like, things happen for a reason. Like, I feel like I was meant to lose out on that first apartment in order for me to get like this really nice, like this this apartment that you guys are gonna see in the apartment tour. If I get the when I get the approval, y'all. Like, we're speaking it into existence. I already know they're making the keys for my apartment now. So I am abundant, you are abundant, we are all abundant. So yes, I am getting that apartment and I cannot wait to show you guys a tour of the apartment. So yes, but yeah, that's why I haven't booked my flight or anything. I, I still haven't shipped my car out to Houston, you guys, but I'm not super worried about that. But I have definitely learned a lot throughout this moving process. Like, first of all, moving is expensive so you definitely need to have your money up so luckily for me i did have my money like in order so i've been able to afford everything but yeah don't be cheap when it comes to moving <laughs> that's for sure like when i see people in their youtube videos and the title says like i moved with only 700 dollars in my bank account i'm just like how 
Like, li like you must have literally just picked up and gone. And even so, I'm like, you got to pay where are you staying at? Because if, I mean, I'm thinking for most apartment complexes, you got to pay for certain stuff prior to moving in. So it's kind of like, that's your $700 right there gone. I mean, me, I already paid like a thousand. I'm still not living at the place yet. So yeah, moving is definitely expensive. Also, another thing that I've learned when it comes to apartment hunting is definitely go by yourself. Like, I do well when I make decisions without other people's thoughts and influence on me. Cause I will say, um, there's this one YouTuber that I really like and I was watching one of her apartment videos the other day and she had brought a lot of friends with her and like her friends were like really talking down on like some of the apartments that she toured and it's just like, okay, but your friends don't know your financial situation. They don't know what you can, cannot afford, what's your do's and don'ts, what's your hard no's, yeses in apartments like they don't know like what you really want and then it's kind of like you don't want to bring all that energy with you to all that negative energy into a new space a space that you haven't even like signed to lease yet you know but yes you guys there's so many signs i've been receiving so many signs like telling me to move to houston is crazy like even um today earlier today i was on some random road and i was just thinking to my head like because i was still thinking about the apartment situation this that and there and i'm like am i gonna get this apartment like i really hope like i was like god i really hope i get this apartment and for some reason like I looked up and I looked at the street name and it said Houston Mill Road. I was like, I'm gonna get that apartment. Like, I'm, I'm in Houston. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so excited to go to Houston because every time I go, it's always a good time. Everyone there is, is always so nice to me. Um, very friendly definitely up my alley because i'm a friendly person too so it's very easy for me to meet people and i'm the type of person that i do like moving to places where i don't know anybody like i know my parents or at least my dad he was like are you sure like are you not scared of you know moving somewhere where you don't know anyone and it's like no that's like the fun part because then it's like you get to start all over you get to create a whole new personality and everything and people get to just I don't know it's like it's a fresh new start so not saying like you got to be fake but it's just like atlanta atlanta was just like a stepping stool for me yeah i'm not knocking atlanta like i did like atlanta but it's just like i was i only moved here for school so i moved here to go to georgia state back in 2018 and i graduated december 2019 and after that, I've just been here. And it's like I work from home, so I do have the luxury to move anywhere I want. So it's kind of like, why do I feel like I'm being tied down to Atlanta? And at the end of the day, I really thought long and hard because I was doing apartment hunting originally in Atlanta, but nothing was really like hitting for me, if that makes sense. And then some of these apartment complexes, it's kind of like I know people that live there and it's kind of like, uh, I don't want to run into you type of thing, but just like no offense to you, but it's just like, I don't want to like know people like that in my apartment complex. And again, not knocking Atlanta, but it's just like, I was really only there or here for school. And once I graduated, I feel like I only stayed here again because I have a lot of family in Georgia. You know, Atlanta is like a really good central point for that. But at the end of the day, it's kind of like, you know, sometimes you gotta branch out and do what you want to do or experience different places that you want to experience and it's so crazy because this time last year like september 2022 that was the first time i ever traveled to texas in general and i went to houston with my friend and we had so much fun you guys and i just like fell in love with houston right then and there like i just loved how the city it had like a yes it's a big city but it also had like a tropical feel and i didn't realize houston was as close to like um the gulf of mexico as it is 
And that was the one thing that I always said about Atlanta. Like, I wish Atlanta was near water, like an ocean. And I feel like Houston is like Atlanta times like 10 plus the ocean. So it's kind of like, wow, like this is what I've been asking for. And everyone's just so nice. The food is like, I know more food places in um, Houston than I do Atlanta. Like every time um, I go out to eat with somebody and they're like, oh, where do you want to eat at? I'm like, I don't know, besides like Wingstop here. <laughs> Because y'all, I'm a Wingstop fanatic. But but yeah, but it's like if we're in Houston, it's like, oh, we can go here, we go there, this place, that place. Like, I know places already. So, so yes, yeah, so I'm very excited, you guys. But at the same time, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit nervous. Like, I'm uncertain about what the future holds for me. And it's so crazy because I got another fortune cookie, too, that said... I don't have it with me, but I know I packed it. But basically the fortune cookie said like, um, in times when things are like uncertain, stay positive, move forward, and you know, good things will come from it. And I don't know, these fortune cookies have been hitting. <laughs> these fortune cookies have been hitting lately, you guys. Like these fortunes, I'm like, mm, I'm feeling that. So. Cause I was really feeling uncertain at certain points during this whole moving process. And even still, I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm kind of scared, but I'm definitely way more excited than scared. I guess I'm only scared because I'm scared that I'm gonna quote unquote fail. But it's kind of like, at this point in my life, it's like, I'm not scared of failure. I'm more so scared of being scared of failing so bad that I don't even try. Cause some people, they don't try things because they know they're gonna they think they're going to fail so they don't try things at all and it's like you don't know what could happen like what if you did actually like succeed at what you were trying to do what if like let's start thinking positive like let's think instead of let's stop thinking like what if i fail let's start switching that mindset to what if i succeed and so that's how i've been feeling lately you guys which y'all it's like seven in the morning so please bear in mind like i'm trying to explain this like a phd professional but it's probably coming out like hella choppy but just hear me out so so i'm trying i'm doing the dang thing i know everything is gonna work out at the end of the day because i am abundant i always succeed and yeah, so everything's gonna work out at the end of the day because everything always works out for me. <laughs> oh, that was so corny. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and upload this footage and upload this vlog and get things uploaded, hopefully by later on this morning or this afternoon. Um, but anyways, you guys, hopefully y'all enjoyed watching this little mini vlog. But yes, you guys, I had to refilm this whole process, like I said, because that first, like, clip of footage that I filmed originally, I was like, why am I looking so crazy in this? Like, uh-uh. But I feel like I look a lot better in this footage, so. But anyways, you guys, hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.